it wasn't one particular failure that hit me, but it was failure after failure and the realization that there's a gift in failure and that failure is part of learning. So let me give you a quick story from uh, my kid's childhood. My, my middle child came back from ski school one day. She was crying. She's like, I hate ski school. I never want to go again. I said, why not? She said, because I fall all the time. I said, you fall all the time? She's like, yeah, it hurts. I hate it. And I'm like, wow, do you know the best skiers in the world? The ones that go to the Olympics, they all started by falling. And I said, falling is a way to you learn how to avoid that fall again. You learn to reflect and say, what, did, what could I have done differently? And eventually you stop falling and you have fun. And so the end of the next ski school, she come back, came back and said, guess what? I fell today. And so I think it's just that we, I hope everybody goes through that transition at some point where they realize that failure is a necessary thing. It's a temporary condition because it doesn't last forever. You're in that moment, you've fallen on the skis, you're cold, you're in the snow, you're picking up your poles and skis and you're like, man, this sucks. But you get up and you get back at it and you learn what to do differently. Business is no different. You know, one of the biggest failures I ever faced was five years into my business, 1994. I had 11 employees and they say one bad apple spoils the whole bunch. I had nine bad apples of my 11. I just didn't enjoy working with them. I just was struggling of uh, having fun anymore. So I brought all 11 people in for a morning meeting and I started with two words. I said, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I failed you that I've brought on the wrong people, that I didn't treat you with the love and respect you needed. I haven't given you the support you've needed to grow and shine. And I let these people go. And I learned the valuable lesson that it's all about people, finding the right people and then treating them right. And so what was exciting about that, while I almost lost my company, uh, half a million in revenue going down to one truck, just me and having to rebuild, I realized what an opportunity to get it right. We have a culture today that is just killer. Like we're so proud of what we've built because we found the right people. We don't get it perfect every time, but if I didn't have that failure, I would have never had that gift or opportunity.